everyone, Zondio4 from Soup Gamer here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make epic root beer float. So, you just need a can of root beer, and you need, like, it has to be a glass cup, it can't be anything else. It doesn't have to be this, uh, A&W one, but I'm just using it for this video. So, here we go. So, first, you gotta get your cup wet like this see and then after you do that and then guys you got to put it in the freezer which it has to be in for like 15 minutes it matters how cold your freezer is so let's put that in here and there, there. And let it sit for 15 minutes. So, I'll be right back with you when it's done. Okay. Also, guys, you have to have your ice cream. I have Chapman's Vanilla Ice Cream. It could be any ice cream you guys want, but this is just the original. So, here's, here's the good ice cream. And we are just got to wait for that. Nice. Have to be nice and cold. Be right back. Oh, that's an old cat that I have, too. Oh, that's a good lady. That's her name's Lady. Okay, now that you have your frozen cup, <clears throat> glass one, you gotta get your ice cream. And I have, like, a big ice cream scooper. It's just gonna be hard to get it. Okay, I'm gonna pause the video, guys, and let's get this ice cream in. And that should be good for the ice cream. Now, the easiest step is to get the root beer in here. Oh, look at all that root beer. Oh, look at that. Root beer floats. And then we put the straw right there. My God. And I'm gonna have a sip for you guys. And okay, so I hope you guys can see me. Sorry if you guys can't really see me. Okay, eh. Eh. it's not working. No, okay, I'm just gonna take a sip and tell you guys how it is right now. That is awesome. Recommend you guys do this at home if you want a good dessert. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe for more content or drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Goodbye.